Hello guys, in this today's video we shall study about types of quantum numbers. An atom consists of large number of orbitals. Atoms consist of large number of orbitals. These orbitals may have different size, shape and orientation. These can be stated by the following three quantum numbers. Those are principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number. And we know that electron spins around its own axis. This is described by the fourth quantum number called as spin quantum number. Electron spins around its own axis. It is described by the fourth quantum number that is spin quantum number. Now we shall study the first quantum number that is principal quantum number. It is represented by N. Now, what, what is the importance of this principal quantum number? It indicates the main energy level or the shell to which the electron belongs. That is, it indicates the main energy level Or the shell to which electron belongs and has values like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. When n is equals to 1, it is k shell. When n is equals to 2, it is l shell. Well, l is equals to 3 it is m shell when n is equals to 4 it is h shell and so on and it also determines the size and energy of the orbital size and energy of the orbital If you consider this as a nucleus, this is K shell, this is L shell, this is M shell. These are the main energy levels. K, L, M are the main energy levels. When the value of N is increasing, the shells are also increasing. So the principal quantum number determines the size of the orbital. And when the electrons are present towards the nucleus, its kinetic energy is increased. So, energy is less. When the electrons are moving farther away from the nucleus, that is when the value of N increases, the energy is also less. And maximum number of electrons which can fill it in any shell is 2N square. maximum number of electrons filled in any shell is 2n square. What is n? It can have values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and k, l, m, n. You already know that when 2n square n is equals to 1 that is in the k shell 2 
into 1 square is 2 that is in the k shell only 2 electrons can be filled that is here in the first k shell only 2 electrons can be filled and when n is equals to 2 that is in the L shell 2 is equal to 8 in the L shell 8 electrons can be filled that is in the L shell 8 electrons can be filled now we shall study about the second quantum number that is azimuthal quantum number after the principal quantum number that is azimuthal quantum number it is also called as subsidiary quantum number or orbital angular moment quantum number Angular momentum is the quantity of rotation of the body. Okay. And azimuthal quantum number is represented by the L. Azimuthal quantum number has values like L is equals to 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1 value. Azimuthal quantum number depends upon the principal quantum number. L is equals to 0 represents spherical orbital L is equals to 1 represents dumbbell orbital that is P that is S when L is equals to 2 it represents double dumbbell orbital now consider this formula n minus 1 when n is equals to 1 that is in the k shell what does azimuthal quantum number gives it gives the shape of orbital now, when n is equals to 1 in the k shell, n minus 1, it becomes 0. That is 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 represents spherical orbital. That is, in the k shell, only s orbitals can be filled. When n, my, n is equals to 2, n minus 1 is 1. That is, 2 minus 1 is 1. We will get like 0 and 1 that is in the L shell 2 S and 2 P orbitals can be filled that is 0 represent S and 1 represent P N is 2 S and 2 P when N is equals to 3 that is N minus 1 becomes 2 that is we have values like 0, 1, 2 that is 3s, 3p, 3d orbitals can be filled in the hem shell. We shall study about the magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number in our next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.